episode 72 is done. Yeah. We uh, talk about society and culture. Apple products. Apple products, yep. And um, yeah, have a good listen. Yes. Because you can't see the overlays. Uh, <laughs> I think it's important to say follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine's at Herbal James, U R B I L J M E S. And uh, Vicious is at Twitter is at 8th Sage Gamer. And Instagram yep. is 8th underscore Sage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Cool. Uh, I guess you should like, subscribe. Yep, if you like if you like oh, the podcast, stuff. like, share, subscribe, uh, support us on Patreon. Yeah. I keep forgetting to say that. Patreon. Oh, okay. right. Patreon.com slash Socratic Gamers. Okay. Um, merchandise. Yeah, also merchandise, shop.lmfire.com. Pick up some teas on Teespring. Yes. Um, Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. <laughs>
I don't know what's stronger. You know, I, I bought this Maybe. USB. I bought this USB that's like, um, it's like shock proof, crush proof, waterproof, <laughs> magnet proof. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but it was only like a ten dollars, no, it was eleven dollars on Amazon, right? Because <laughs> I went to the store and I bought like a USB, and I was like, well, I wonder what Amazon offers, right? Right. And I saw right. like one that was that, like military oh, okay. grade. Okay. I was like, why wouldn't I buy this one too? Mm-hmm. You know, it was like it was freaking eleven dollars. So I was like, whatever. Right. Like that's what I mean. Like it's like. Um, technology is getting super intense now. You can like submerge this USB. Mm-hmm. I, if you want to go buy it, if you're listening to this, it's uh, this is not an endorsement. Although it'd be pretty sweet if they were endorsing us. Okay. Uh, Mo Mo Mohawk or Mohawk. It's like one of the. It's like I don't know. Looks like Mohawk. I couldn't read the name because the logo was written weird. But okay. yeah, you should buy that. <laughs> yeah. My external hard drive is also military grade. Cause it's just cheap, and I was like, "Why would I not buy the safest one?" So like, my external hard drive. All oh, right. Not 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 the uh, not the Drobo, the um the like the ones I take with me when I travel and I edit. Yes. Those are like waterproof, shockproof. Okay. Magnet proof. Oh. Okay, you can like okay, slam okay. that one. You know right, what I mean? Right, like. Right. I, right. Yeah. Right. Anyways, so you're saying. So is the iPad like that? Uh. Not yet. No, of course not. Not too bad. Because that'll just be bulky. No, this USB is not that bulky. But I, get, I know you're saying, like, you have to fit everything in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, is it using it, flash storage, or is it, like, still hard disk? No, iPad's always been flash. Oh, okay, okay, cool. In the beginning. The hard disk is just too big. No, because if it's flash, then it means you can make it shockproof, waterproof, all that stuff. Because it's thin, right? Right. Like, it's the spinning disk that, that makes it so bad. Like, if you... Yeah, I know. They never use that for iPad, though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into that. Because like, it's, it's just also big. You're like, the size guy. of that is big. Just, you can't make it thinner. Hmm, true. I mean, even your phones use flash now. So. My the laptop so that I got, helps, like the so. when, mm-hmm. when I got the the most like the one that like when I got it, I got it to the best of the ability. Like my dad was coming in like a week, so I bought the best one off the shelf. But I wanted to get the one that was like custom. Like it was like an extra six hundred dollars. I was like, all right, well, if I'm spending like five grand on a laptop, might as well. Who cares, right? Just buy like the extra six hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. But like it would take like two months or something to like to bring it in because they had to like specially order that one or something. Yeah. But um, so I still get shocked because I remember my old laptop was hard disk, and then this one was flash. The first time I ever had flash. So when I restart it. Like, you know, like, when you restart, like, your PC, you're like, okay, I gotta wait up the load time, you gotta wait for the engines to kick in. But this one's, like, off on. And I'm like, yes. oh, it freaks me out every time. I'm like, oh, that was too quick. Yeah, that's how fast Flash is. Yeah, so I mean, it's, like, it's crazy. It's, like, the future's <laughs> nothing, awesome. Nothing, nothing spinning. Nothing mechanical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just straight it's just off information. On. It's, just, like, it's, oh. like, it's like the cars, right, with the electric cars. It's much faster than a gas car. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah because, because they're not, not pumping engine. It. Yeah. It's just straight energy. Straight energy to the wheels, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, so continue. About so you're amazing. Yeah, and no, I mean, Apple I'm I'm super excited. I want to buy it, but it's like goddamn expensive here in Canada. Okay. Uh, how much are we talking? Cheapest well, there's price. two sizes, right? Okay. I generally go for the bigger one. I okay. have a bigger size. All right. Uh, which would be. Uh, I think it was twelve hundred starting it. Twelve hundred. That's not bad. Twelve hundred is like. That's for sixty. Like a, that's sixty four gigs. So I got to go up one more. That's like one two weeks. Because the one I have right now is one twenty eight. The one so they go sixty four and two fifty six. There's no more one twenty eight. So that's mm. another, I don't know, hundred or couple hundred more. <laughs> so by how much will that be? Uh, if it's twelve, maybe fourteen now, and then fourteen is not bad. Then you add the Apple Care, and then you add. Oh, uh, true, true, true. Then I want the Apple Pencil, which is almost one sixty nine. <laughs> okay, so that's a, a monthly salary. We're then, talking uh, <laughs> one month of pay. One month of pay right there. Then a case, if you want a case, it's another probably fifteen hundred bucks. It's funny how we have to rationalize our time. You know what I mean? It's like okay, that's one month of pay. So it's like if I can sit here for one month, I that's can how buy I this. think too. Though. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> yeah, I don't think weird. about I don't think about the, what I say. It's more about what I'm making right now. But it's weird because like when you go from like freelance to um, to like office and stuff, yeah, it I start thinking. I, although I'm still doing both, it's like I, I start thinking in terms of like duration that mm-hmm. I have to be there. Yeah. Whereas like freelance is like project based. It's like, okay, if I could just do this one project for one day, I could buy this. Right. You know what I mean? Because you get your money lump summed, but like yeah. in in like um, office life or, or like if you're mm-hmm. regular nine to five, you got to like wait the pay periods. Right, right, right. It's so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I think that pencil is pretty cool. That's cool. It connects magnetly to the magnetically to the iPad and it charges 
Nice. Wireless oh, okay. So ring. it's what do you call it? Uh, what? Uh, wireless charging? What do you what do you call it? What's the name of that? Where it's like charging without. Connecting? It's wireless charging. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I did know it. I was to, <laughs> well, this only know? works on that iPad, so you can't buy this pencil for any other iPad. Mm, okay. It's designed for that iPad. <laughs> well, oh, that's cool. No, but no it's, I mean, it's that's better, fine. No, it's that's better fine. that way because then it's like it's more integrated within the products. I love that about Apple, how like if you're in the ecosystem, everything works well. I hate like when you have to like ad hoc everything together and then mm-hmm. like, oh, this software is not kicking in with this software. And you're like, oh, let me figure out the bug. But then like because it's in the ecosystem, it's like it'll, it's made to work well naturally right you know apple's the best what can you say there there are very few companies that i look to for inspiration because i was thinking about this like so at all right side note at that conference i was like man i can give one of these talks at that conference because like i realized it's all about like experience so like nobody Mm -hmm. really knows what's going on in life we're just we're just guessing with our best experience so like i'm like oh my computer's broken right and then the it guy will come in and he'll be like oh i think it's this 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 and like i could have made those guesses though yeah yeah. you know what i mean it's like we're all just really guessing from Mm -hmm. our experience Mm -hmm. and i feel like if you look at the best in class then that way um you're you're gaining the best wisdom from the person with the most experience yeah you know so like but i feel in like business and stuff there's only very few that like you should turn to Starbucks, Walmart, mm. Telus. Oh no, sorry, no, not Telus. Um, Tesla, uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Amazon, <laughs> Apple. Oh, okay. Like if I look at those, like those people, I think it's like five I just named. It's like you can generally understand how business works. Just just look at those companies because they're doing it really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a side note. Oh yeah. Because I was listening to the people present and I was like, this is okay, but like, I. Like, I was listening to it, and I was like, well, I could have expanded more on that, or, like, right. I could have brought this down a different avenue. Yeah. But then I realized, like, oh, they're just, they're literally just guessing, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. About so the best company in the world. Uh, so they did change. There's no more lightning connector. It's okay. It's USB-C. Is... Oh, okay, cool. The current universal one. Mm-hmm. Uh, my only thing is I'll have to get wireless headphones, too, so it's added on price. Oh, okay. That's my only gripe. But I, I'm I want to eventually jump to wireless anyways, but I'm I'm just waiting for Have the, you tried the wireless headphones? Uh like which ones are you talking about? Like the, the Bluetooth headphones? ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't like the Bluetooth. I want no, the Apple I mean. No, I haven't tried the Apple one. Uh, I see people so, with all the time I'm like, oh I yes, good. I know there's, there's a lot good, of though? people that have it. No, I think it's just now that uh, even with the phones, no, it's just design. I, f- I feel like I would wireless. ask that. I feel like I'd ask for that as a Christmas present, but I wouldn't go out of my way to pay for it myself. It's a lot know? of money. Yeah, I know, and it's like it's just wireless. In my head, I'm like, it's just wireless. No, but, but do- it's so much. Like, I have like I I want it, but really? I it's just now. It's been a couple of years since they haven't updated it, so I'm gonna wait for the update. Oh, okay, okay, that's true. why. I, I like that's how right. the the carrying case is the charging unit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But I mean, like. Simultaneously, it's not hurting me to have the wires. You know, I'm not being no, forced into that no, yet. But I, I keep getting pissed off at the wires. <laughs> no, of course, of course. But well, like, I've happened for a while though, right? It's just I, like, but if, no, but I mean, like, if I, you understand, have, I understand. If you have the iPhone eight, it's like you yeah. have to go wireless. You can get the, you can get the adapter, but it's like, meh. No, no, you can still use. Yeah. They still give you the lightning. No, the adapter. The yeah. No, it's not an adapter. Hmm? Which I mean, you don't need a dongle. I don't use a dongle. No, wait, the one with the one bar. Yeah, I, oh, you, you get right the now. headphones with it. Oh. You don't get it. I didn't it. know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I heard that people were like, oh, no. the. Well, it's not a separate. No, like, but I couldn't use like, like if you had, yeah, yes. That's if, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You yes. couldn't buy separate headphones. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying, that's what I was saying. Like, because, like, you don't want to use Apple headphones. Like, they're good, but there are better ones out there. There are, yeah. Yeah, so it's like if you want to use those ones, mm-hmm. you need the adapter. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, of course, they have, they'll give you ones that work. Well, with that's why, thing, yeah, that's why like... you go wireless, right? Now Beats is also selling wireless. Or really? Yeah, of course. Well, Beats is Apple down. now, right? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> what about the ones you're wearing right now? Are those wireless? Those uh, Acers? No, what are they? No, these are not. These, that's it's a really goddamn cool. wire right here. No, no, but can you? No, it? it's not wireless. Oh, okay. No, can, you can buy wireless ones. These are not oh, wireless. Okay. Yeah, I didn't right. buy wireless ones because uh, charging. At least for work. games, it, there could be delays. Oh like, yeah, you, know, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, yeah, true, true. I looked into it. 
We should play uh, online sessions if this one ends pretty early. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like, oh, that'd be it's, okay. Yeah, different. Sure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so look out for the online sessions after you hear this podcast. Yeah, no, that's all I got for that. Pick. Okay, cool. So um, this is a great segue into my topic, which is belief and trade. I, I read The Silk Roads. I know we were talking about this before, but like um, the two primary drivers for civilization, like humanity, are belief and trade. Mm-hmm. Right? If you can control belief, you can control people. If you can control trade, you can also control people. Right. But it turns it like it seems more likely that the people that control trade also control belief because they know that belief is not real. And what do I mean by belief? It's like religious systems, you know. Yeah. They, they've the people in power. Like if you if you read the book, it's like they they use they leverage the belief system. Like oh, I'm a descendant from God to so you must listen to me. But it's like there's no fact checking back then. There's no Google. So how do you really know? Mm-hmm. Right, it's just like it's almost like if you can get one person to believe it, then you can get ten. If you yeah. get ten, you get twenty. If you get twenty, you get five hundred. Five hundred equals a revolution. You know what I mean? It's like it's kind of like that. Yeah. It's like you snowball effect it, mm-hmm. right? Whoever's the most charismatic salesman, yeah. right? But then, yeah. but then trade is undeniable because you need like war. It's all about resources. And uh, the thing that I like about this book is uh basically it's a must read like if you if you're really interested in like how we got to where we are you can watch a bunch of docs because me and bish were talking about how like i like books because i can burn through them faster than my attention span for watching a doc because like i feel like that's an hour of my life (laughs) but it's the same it is the same but i get more information (laughs) in an hour of reading like 100 pages than like because they go really in depth into it, and they give you facts. Like they give you like yeah, lips, yeah. You know it depends I mean? so on like, how well the doc is done too. That's right? true, but it's like I've I've seen very few docs that are like mind blowing. Remember the one we watched with uh, Donald Trump? That was so good. The Netflix one. Oh. How he got into power? Get me Ronald Stone or something. Oh, like you. Oh, Do- um, Stone, yeah. <laughs> whatever, man. You know, just like what the guy. Docs, yeah, docs.guylikemyfire.com. I, 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 I think I know what you're talking about. You'll see the list there. Like, if you check out God Let Me Fire, books and docs and right. movies and stuff are there. But anyway, so um, it's really cool uh, to see how we spiraled out from where we began and mm-hmm. how, how, how when you look at life from where we are now, like, you're born and you're like, oh, this is how life has been, right? You just assume that this is what life is. But you don't realize that it's been a long time coming that we've gotten to this place. Right. You know what I mean? And like like through always fighting for resources, that's why certain countries are like deified, uh, not deified, like um, mm-hmm. vilified. Yeah. You know, like Baghdad and stuff, it used to be the one of the greatest places on earth. But then because they were fighting for resources in Baghdad, which is like oil and stuff, um, they, they became what they are today, which yeah. is like a crumbled society. You know, and it, it ties into what you're saying because uh, the the Silk Road was actually called the Silk Road because silk was the major yeah. uh, trade mm-hmm. at that time, mm-hmm. and then it went to like spices, then wheat, uh, and then slaves, and then oil, and then now the new Silk Road. Silk Road is like who's dominating the uh, resource, like the the quest to dominate the resources. It's rare earth metals. Which is in yep. our batteries, laptops, phones. Yeah, everything. Technology. It's not really oil anymore. Basically, yeah, it's, it's technology. technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the green, the green products use rare earth metals, mm-hmm. right? So, what the author says is like we're entering into a new age of um, Silk Roadness. I think we're already in it. We're already in it. Yeah. Well, this book, I think this book is like old because when it goes oh, to I paperback, see. it's been like two years or something. Okay. Like when you see a paperback, uh, it, it, it had to have yeah, been. Yeah, it's been a co- yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. It's not like they release a paperback mm. with a hardcover. They release hardcover first. So I don't know when the book was written, but it was really good. And I'm reading Homo Deus right now, which is really insightful. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm like uh, 200 pages in. Mm. And what it already talked about was if you look at human beings in the past, there were primary dominators for like affecting life which is famine uh disease oh yeah, man. Yeah. famine disease war and oh, i forgot the other one famine disease war anyways um basically what it's saying is with technology we've we've been able to eliminate these drivers for death and right. like turmoil right they say 
in a developed society? Oh. <laughs> I found one option society for information technology and develop in Hyderabad. That's one, that one. No, no, that's one annoying thing about <laughs> iPhones. Did it, you press it? No, no, no. I think it, it thought I said its name. Anyways, sorry. Um, so. Still drawbacks to technology. Uh, yeah, there are drawbacks. So with, with those with those drivers like famine, war, um, disease, yeah. they're all snuffed out by technology. They say now that in a developed society, you're more likely to get killed by McDonald's than you are to get killed by Al Qaeda. So war's gone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then disease, disease. We have cures now. Mm -hmm. So before they thought God was angry at them, like the Black Plague. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, that, yeah. They're like, oh, like what do we do? But then now we're like, no, it's a virus. You know, and like um, what they're saying is like death is really just parts of your body shutting down your machine. So it's more like a um, what do you call that? It's more like a structural problem versus like an actual thing that we must go through in life. Because like when when people were dying back then, they would call the shamans and like they yeah. transition them into death. Right. But now we call the doctor and the doctor's like, oh, you got cancer. Here's the cure for cancer. Or, oh, your heart needs to be replaced. Here's your new heart. Right. So we can stave off. What he proposes, we can stave off death forever mm -hmm. in a future technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And he's like, he's like, when we get so automated, what will humans have left to do except write poetry? Like, what would they do except enjoy their experience, right? Mm. And it's interesting how he says it uh, because he's like, because I was like, why do you call it homo deus? I didn't understand that because there's homo sapien, which is thinking man, and then homo sapien sapien, the man who thinks, like the thinking man, the thinking thinking man, right? I don't, I don't then, know if that would happen to humans though. Wait, hold on, and, and homo deus means yeah. the god human. Deus means god. Because mm -hmm. we've, we've used technology to get ourselves to this point of um, invulnerability. And then what, what's funny is he's like, when people read this, they're like, oh, I don't want to be a superhuman android, right? And he's like, yeah, but if you look at technology, what it poses to serve, vaccines were a technology before, right? They're like, oh, it's a new thing. It's like, oh, I have this disease here. Just take this pill. You'll feel better. So it's like, what's the difference between that and being like, oh, your heart's about to die. Here's a new robotic heart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. So it's only because we haven't made it a norm in our society that we think it's weird. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. but we that's just, what I'm saying. Yeah, it, that's, well, that's what everything it, though, It's like right? a slow creep, you know? <laughs> we're, go mean. we're going to hit... A techno technological revolution where humans are just like invincible because of technology. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mind blow. Not really. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was mind blow to me. I was like, dang, son. Yeah, I mean, it's that's crazy. the whole point of, you know, the Neuralink. Yeah. Yeah. In order to. Which is also, okay, so this is like this <laughs> is leading into my final topic, but you'll go next, but I'm just going to allude to it right now. We. I went to this like graduation yesterday and it's so funny because I was like, oh, this is so not what we went through during our time. Like inclusivity is huge now. What do you mean? But all right, so like so the principal was giving a speech, he's like, he's like, um, uh, today I will shake hands with blacks. With huh? white. I know. When he's I know, that's the exact same reaction that I had. I was like, whoa, whoa hold up. I like sat up, I was like, what's this gonna say right now? And it was like <laughs> Blacks will cross the stage, Muslims will cross the stage, whites will cross the stage, but we're all one. I was like, dang, you know, like, like inclusivity is like ingrained in society. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's really like, it's permeated everything. And I'm like, this is, not, that's why I want to see mid nineties. Cause it's like, we grew up in a time where there was no inclusivity. If you wanted, like, there was like bullying, it was hard. Like you needed a heart, like you had to become like tougher. And I feel like that's why we're getting these mental problems now because it's like, or maybe they had the mental problems before they was just not announced as much. But like, maybe we just come from a different era, but I feel like you need to like a little bit of grit, you know, you know, toughen up a little bit, you know? But like, it's weird to see how soft we're becoming by becoming a society mm -hmm. right like like the principal's like i have this banner where we're all gonna sign it we're gonna pledge that we are gonna stop racism and blah blah blah, blah. It doesn't... And then, no, no 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 hold on see that's that's our mentality so when i heard that i was like that's not gonna work 
there was cheers. No, of course. And I was like, what? Yeah. Get on my face with this. Uh, All the children were like, yeah, we're going to stop it. Yeah. But and I was like, does. I was like, what? If this was our time, the it's not whole like a crowd, rampant no, issue. I know, but the whole crowd would have laughed, right? Like all the students would be like, "You're <laughs> yeah, lame, bro. Like, what are you talking about?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm not too sure if that was our time, or maybe it's a school system I went to, and like the things we were surrounded by. Because I like, I turned to like Tara, and I was like, "This is so different than what I have. I remember, you know." Right. It's like we would have laughed at this, literally. We yeah. were like, "This is a joke, right?" But like mm-hmm. now it's like, yeah, we're all one. No, I'm not saying that we're all one is that, so like, don't get me wrong. I no, believe but, in inclusivity. Yeah, that's But I fine. believe that like we need like it's it's But I just soft. don't get it. Like where It's like, good to be inclusive. No, no, like no, be no, whatever I, you want. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You know, like be whatever you want to be. I, that's fine. I'm not saying don't be whatever you want to be. I'm just <laughs> saying it's like it's like if we're all super Conformist and polite, and no, it's good to be polite. Yeah, of course. It's it's like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's there's something that's missing. I don't know how to, what to like. I don't know what it's called, but there's they're mm-hmm. missing like an edge. You know, right? Like, they're missing like pride. Mm-hmm. You know, have some self respect. But I guess they'd be like, well, we are still self respect because we're standing up for ourselves. But it's like, yeah, but did you do any further research on what it is you're saying? <laughs> You know, like right, right. I don't know. I, I guess like like there's like, parts of that is is fine. Parts of that what he was saying was like, fine, right, but right, it's like this, this is a horrible topic. Like this is like very controversial. But like if you, <laughs> <laughs> this is a very controversial topic. You know, there's like uh, there's like multi non-binary, uh, right? But uh, then if you look uh, at it yeah. into a medical term, it's like if we give you the wrong dose. Like, if you're, like, all right, when you're circling, like, male or female on the thing. I'm not saying, like, be whatever you want. Again, be whatever you want to be. I'm just saying look at the hard facts. If you're filling out a medical form and then they're, like, we need to – we really need to know because this medicine will kill you if you're the uh, wrong Yeah, yeah no, no, no. What, what, they, what they say is they're not picking gender. They're, if it's sex, uh-huh. then they will choose male or female. Okay. But if it's – the word gender they're saying is, like – so okay, the meaning of gender. So so it, is, it, so it's more like so it's more like psychological. This is how, yeah, yeah, before, yeah. So one is psychological and one is um, the biological. Thing. Biological. Yeah. So they've made a differentiation between psychology and biology. Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. All right. I think so. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. As long as if that's what that's what if 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 I understood that correctly, I think that's what's. Happening. All right. I'll, I'll accept I that because I was like I was like wait this makes no sense because you need to. <laughs> Right, it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't work. Yeah, because then the doctors would be like, "I don't know how to treat you. Right. I've never, you know, I've never treated a foxkin before." Right, that's my favorite one. <laughs> when, when, when. So, if you don't know what a foxkin is, there's a person in I think it's like California. Right, they they put a fox hat on and they're like, because it's like inclusivity, uh, and they're like, uh, <laughs> I identify as a fox. I'm a foxkin, and I was like, that is savage right there. Damn, I want to be your friend. <laughs> Not really, because I don't really like. <laughs> yeah, you know, the world's a little too crazy right now. Right, to find right, right, smaller right. groups, people, smaller groups. <laughs> anyway, so that was my topic. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It diverged from Silk Road to like, <laughs> like, 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 like and it's weird. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, cool. All right, cool. what's yours? Well, <laughs> it's got nothing to do with that. It's totally different. All right, cool. In some ways, we gotta switch it up. Uh, Before I get heated. Well, it's something that I've been waiting for for a, for a while. Uh, like Flight superpowers? No, no, an app. An app. Oh, it's an app. Superpower app. Uh, you, you know, every birthday. So, every, sorry, it's another side. Cord note. cutting app. Every, every cord cutting. Our whole on. So um, every every birthday when they're like, oh, wish for something, you know, for your birthday. I all, every year I wish for superpowers. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's not happening. Yeah, you tell you know? me that. Yeah. Right? But you tell people that. Doesn't yeah. come true. It doesn't come true if you tell people? Yeah, you're supposed to keep it to yourself. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe next year I'll wish for it. I won't tell anyone what I wish for. <laughs> but I guess maybe if you look at it, like, and they start rationalizing things, I guess my intellect is my own superpower. <laughs> you know, it's like you can start being right, dumb yeah, about you, it. You can... like, it's, that's cognitive dissonance right there mm-hmm. where you try and like rationalize your bad choice. Right. Yeah. Right. 
for like your <laughs> poor outcome. All right, so you're saying right, right, cord right. cutting out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cord, C O R D. Yeah, like the cables. An like, app? Ca- like, no, no, no. What? Uh, let me just, I'll, I'll explain. It's an app. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. so in a, you know HBO. Okay. Well, they have it for a while in in America. America, yeah. yeah. Uh, where you can just buy HBO the application. Okay. You know, versus going through cable. Like here, you still had to go through cable subscription. Uh huh. And then you add on that, so it's more money. Okay. I'll, I just want HBO. Okay. And they don't offer just HBO. No. Oh. I you have know. to have at least basic cable. Honestly, I and then you add that know. thing on. It's funny because a lot of people are like, wow, you're so technological savvy. I'm like, I, I really don't know. it. I ask you everything. <laughs> and then I come off as being technological savvy. Right. You know what I mean? like, I didn't even know that. I thought you could just, I assumed you could just buy. No, you yeah. could do it in America, though. Okay, okay. I was doing for a while. It's like a gray area. VPNs. Okay. Right? Make oh, you look like I'm American. Allegedly. allegedly. No, it's, it's, you can legal? get VPNs. It's legal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's a gray area, I would say. It's nothing there is illegal about that. <laughs> and then the police kicked down her door. Oh, I heard you got a VPN. Well, I don't have it anymore. All right, all right. It was in the Allegedly. past. As I was what, what's needed that? to watch Game of Thrones. What did they call that? And There's I wanted like to watch it live. Statute of limitations. Maybe, I don't know. So, like, That's it's been there. years since the crime has been committed. So you can't <laughs> be, you can't be, like, um, indicted for the crime. Anyways, yeah, you're saying? Uh, so, anyways, so... Uh, finally, goddamn Canada's getting one. Not from HBO directly. It's from still Bell that runs it. Okay, cool. And that's more what I'm excited about. <laughs> finally to get HBO live. <laughs> so this was your choice of topic. This is my you're topic. You talked about anything in the week. Anything. You're like, you know what? This is what HBO is coming. This happened this week. Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones coming, and I want to watch Game of Thrones coming this week? No. Oh, you got me so excited. I was like, damn. Goddamn, that's next year. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, 2019. Yeah, it's almost over. Right, it's true, almost true. there in March, I think. It's March. Yeah, fair March. All right, cool. That's what I'm more excited about. Okay. No, but it's just like... Who do you think's going to win? No, I don't know, man. I don't care. White Walkers calling it. Okay, cool. Everyone's dying. Uh, so, the price is about the same. Wait, wait. Let me, let me ask you something oh. about Game of Thrones. Would you be upset if they defeat the White Walkers and everyone lives in peace? Um, that's a cop-out, right? I think it'd be cool if uh, they died. It depends. Depends. I think people will die. Of course, it's not going to be. I don't think he's going to make it all. Like, I don't know what do you call. It? What's like happy ending? Lo- fairy yeah. tale? I don't, I don't like. It will probably be happy, but it won't be like. Not like everyone survived. It's like, mm. it's like people died in that war. <laughs> it'd be crazy if he makes Cersei win. Like everyone goes uh, to right, war, right. they all die, and Cersei's the only one left. <laughs> You're like, damn. I don't that's know, man. Happens. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I, happens. I, I, I'm excited to see what happens in that kind of damn show. Yeah. All right, back to your. Uh, eight, um, well, it, yeah, I mean, it's related, I guess. It's just, um, it's it's been too long, is what I'm saying. Like they're finally realizing nobody's buying cable. Yeah, no, it's. Right, we don't have cable here. It's done. Uh, people are just getting internet, and they want these apps. I mean, Netflix is killing it right now, mm, so they're true. trying to. Like, the reason HBO wasn't here is they, when they made that um, app in America, they had a deal mm-hmm. already with Bell, our mm-hmm. provider here in Canada, uh-huh. that they would run HBO. Nice. So then now, is it, wait, Bell is the there's one. A, there's an extra charge, right? How much more is it? Well, no, it's like to get everything, it's like 20 bucks a month. Oh, that's not bad. Which is kind of the, like, it's 15 in America, so like... For it's just HBO, it's so it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So I like this is what I like. I've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should be out on Monday, I think. This Monday? Yes. HBO sessions. Here we go. Yeah, I know. Me and that entertainment. Love that oh, entertainment. A lot of lot of stuff to learn from it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. my books. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, late night show. I was listening to a podcast about like Jimmy Kimmel and stuff. He was like on Dak Shepard's podcast, and um. Basically, yes, yeah, this guy. He's in punk. That's fun. Yeah, this guy. So, um, uh, Kristen Bell's husband. Yeah, you don't even know. Don't worry about it. So, anyways, so he was saying that like he makes he makes a lot more views on YouTube's short clips than he does for his TV show, which makes sense, right? Oh, 
Okay. okay. And he's like, people are not staying up to watch it anymore. They're just waiting for the YouTube highlights. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, because nobody's watching cable anymore. No, like, I would not buy. Like, why would I wait? It seems so <laughs> archaic that you're going to wait to watch something, and it's like this is the only time I could see it. Oh no, blah blah blah. It's like, why? That's like, you're living in the past, you know. Mm-hmm. When you had to run to the bathroom between commercials, and you're like, "Oh, it's coming back on!" You run back. You know what I mean? Like, or I, I can, I can make a snack within the time of the commercial, so it's like three minutes. All right, right, let's go. But now it's just like pause. Exactly. You know, it's like. Yeah, I mean, I think that that Netflix changed the whole thing. I mean, Netflix went through a lot of change since when it started too. That's right? true. Yeah, yeah. I remember. It I had like, to figure out where they had to send movies to you and stuff. <laughs> I was like, but you know what I don't like? How can you rent stuff now? How can you rent stuff? I, that's the only thing I miss from being a kid. We used to go to the store and we rent right. a game and then we play it and then we just bring it back the next day. Right. But you don't want to buy the game, you just want to play yeah. it a little bit. Uh, I think, I don't know if they're still there anymore. I used to see them. It's called like Redbox. Red yeah, I was about to say, I knew you were going to say Redbox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if they are there's really only, there anymore. There's one in I rare know. places there. There's right? one in Durham that I know. Oh. And that's it. I yeah. don't know. It, it's it's over. Yeah, it is over. I mean, the only way it's not more about renting. It's but like they if they do tro- for video games. They, I'm saying they need one for video games. Uh, they do have like demos and trials. Yeah, but that's, that's not the only same. way they that's can do it right now. That's lame. They need to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you? I'm done. done. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Final topic of the week. It's not really a – well, I guess it's kind of philosophical discussion, but it's something – so I'm going to circle back to that graduation thing because I was thinking about um, when I was watching it, like most people who changed the world didn't – like they didn't really enjoy school. They dropped out of school, et cetera, et cetera, mm-hmm. right? Like if you look at Steve Jobs, <clears throat> he was a university dropout. If you look at um, – Oh, side note, remember that girl who tested the blood? She looked like Steve Jobs. Uh, remember you showed me a long time ago? Like, yeah, oh, no, she she's, she's yeah, a fraud. She's, oh, yeah, oh, She's brutal. a super fraud. Yeah, oh, <laughs> she, she's going to jail, though. Yeah. yeah, oh. No, nice. she's a super fraud. Yeah, they brought that up on Joe Rogan's podcast. Like, oh, yeah, oh, she no. fails so hard. And, yeah, uh, yeah they... Uh, like yeah, they found out like her test didn't really work. Uh, is is a super fraud? Yeah, she yeah. <laughs> super don't, fraud. Don't do that, people. But like, if you look at like you <coughs> she know, Steve, tried with the yeah Steve Jobs persona, just yeah, having the did, same yeah. clothes and yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, all right, so if you look at Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, um, who else is a really good one? Um, Bill Gates, I think, was one. The Facebook guy. Was um, um, was Jeff Bezos anything? I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't know, know. I don't much about Jeff Bezos. Amazon. Know. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know about his schooling. But so if you look at those, right, you're like, wow, they, they didn't really leverage school to make themselves successful, mm-hmm. right? So I was, I was watching the thing yesterday, and all these people won these awards, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not knocking them. Good for you that you won the award. But like, like yeah, this person won this award, and like, you know, just watching these people. Oh, yesterday. Awards, yeah, uh, the, thing. the graduation. And I was like, I was like oh, it's kind of weird because I was listening to it. They're like, this person won this award because they were so dedicated to like doing all this after school stuff, helping the school. And I was like, you just sound like a really good conformist. You know what I mean? Like, you get grades for your ability to perform how people want you to perform. And it's like, your your award is not really on... It's an excellence, but an excellence in achieving conformity. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like you... Right, yeah, yeah. You got the I mean, uh, dedication award for <laughs> always coming to class or something like that. Right, you know? and right, it's like, right. It's like, so how would I translate that to the real world? Mm-hmm. Oh, it would just be somebody who never took a day off work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, this person went above and beyond and always helped me whenever I was out of a jam. So I was like, okay, so you're going to be the person that slaves over their manager's happiness. Right. I guess you could say it's like there's a negative outlook, but like finally being in, you know, because uh, doing freelance for a while, still doing it, but like being in like office life, it's like you, you can see like, oh, these are the people that they become. And it's like, that's true. Like, um, School does set you up for, um, what do you call that? For like, um, I don't want to say conformity, but it's like it's structured in a way that you are. No, it's it's yeah, no, 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 of course, you know of I mean? course, it's it's meant to 
uh, um, work like to get you ready for the society. If, yeah, it's for the system. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, but it's like a factory. Most people chain. need that, right? Exactly. Yeah, then there's 100%. the outliers. So. It, that, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. but the, the like the Steve Jobs of the world, these like geniuses, yeah. the Joe Rogans of the world, they, they didn't go to school. You know, they're just like, well, they did go to school, but they didn't get a regular job, but they didn't finish their school. They're like, it's kind of a joke. Musicians are right, all right, like that. Right. Cause it's like you, that's why when I was like, oh, these, these, and they're like, wow, this person's going far in life because they won all these awards. It's like, no, you just sound like a really good employee. And they even said like any company would be really like happy to hire them. I'm like, they should give an award for a person who, <clears throat> who does not conform at all and be like, this is the CEO award. <laughs> You know what I mean? I remember. I remember when I was school. Be, <laughs> I remember when I was in school, and then they were talking about um, this award. I I was in college, after university, and then they were like uh, this like free thinking award. It was like leaders. I can't remember what it was, mm. but I was like, oh, I'm a shoe in for that, right? Because like my grades were really good, my ideas were awesome, but then they're like, no. I think it was a design award, uh, something like that. But but like they gave it to someone else because they that person followed the the guideline of what had been <laughs> set out. But my design was way better. I guess you could say that's biased, but it's like no no, I know what template they used. But I didn't use a template. I designed it from scratch using like um Illustrator while mm-hmm. as they use like Word. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, "Oh, this design's better." I'm like, "Because you outline that you need these certain things you need to check book check mark these criteria and i'm like so i realized like you shouldn't look for artistic advice on what you think is cool from somebody with no taste in art right you know what i mean it's like mm-hmm. it's like so subjective mm-hmm. that's how i feel like so what i'm getting at is like these are not indicators for success accolades are not indicators for success it's action yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know how can you turn this around how can you do something just because you had an accolade doesn't mean anything. Like, there are so many black belts in the world, but there's a difference between a black belt and a black belt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a difference between a yoga teacher and a yoga teacher. There's a difference between yeah. a kindergarten teacher and a kindergarten teacher. There are different doctors, right? Yeah. There are different types of people. It's like mm-hmm. accolades are, I don't believe accolades are, like academic accolades, are like indicators of success. They're indicators of conformity. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, um,. I had one more thing about that. Success. Yeah, I guess that was really it. Just like, yeah, we we don't glorify. Oh, wait, 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 I remember the final thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So in, in terms of like indicators of conformity, so it's like they won all these awards, right? But then they were naming off like, oh, this person is now doing this in this university, blah, blah, blah. And I was listening to what they were doing and I was watching the people that won awards, right? There's only very few of them. Like there's one like, um, all right, it's very stereotypical, but this Chinese dude won the physics math award. He was like the best. I was like, yeah, of course, you know, obviously. And he's like, he's studying like, um, chemical something and i was like that makes sense right like that that you're gonna go pretty far with that but then other people who won the award they're like they're now studying psychology they're now studying english Mm -hmm. they're now studying and it's like those are hard not knocking anyone that has those degrees i'm just saying it's like it's hard to leverage those degrees you know and then if you're in it right now and you're like what are you talking about find me somebody who leveraged their degree in a really successful way because it's not about while being in it. Because when you're in it, of course, you're going to think, again, cognitive dissonance. You're going to think that your program's the best because you chose it. But then wait till after the fact, and then you tell me who's got the good job, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. Like they say, like, some Chemical degrees are jump degrees. Guy, whatever no, yeah, I, guess, I was like, you're going places. He's going to make money. <laughs> you know? And then, and then they're like, so they're like, there's one guy like, oh, there's this brilliant student who's really good at English. He's been writing his novel for years. And I was like, oh, damn, this guy, he's like, oh, he's such a free thinker. I was like, oh, like, this guy's going to go places. I was like, wow, he's probably studying something awesome. And then when he went up, he's like, he's, ch- he's studying, like, child, uh, child uh, social worker. But it's also I, high school. They can always change. No, no, 100%. But what I'm saying is, like, you just gave him this glowing recommendation of being an amazing novelist, and he's studying, like, child health. Again, child health care worker, it's a very practical. I believe college is more important than university because it's more practical, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like that had nothing to do with the award you gave him. So it's like, yeah, you won the award. That's great. 
it's not an indicator of success because you're not leveraging your skill. You know, you just right. got told you're an amazing writer. Why are you studying child, whatever? Mm-hmm. You know, it's the safe route. You know, not many people are willing to go through the perils. Right. You know. Yeah, I I guess it always rubbed me the wrong way because like, <laughs> like I just I guess because again we come from that anti-conformist era. Right. Where it's like when, yeah. whenever they won the war, it's like, boo, you won the war. What You're trying. Bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're trying, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah. no, that, that, you know I remember mean? doing that. Right? Like, oh, oh, you think you're cool because you got straight A's? I got straight D's, bro. <laughs> I don't conform. Anti-conformist. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> you know, we grew up in a different time. Yeah. So, like, those awards to us were, like, kind of lame. Like, mm-hmm. whenever those people won those awards, like, everyone's, like, cheering, like, yeah, you won that award, you're so awesome. But, like, in my high school, whoever won the award, it was only their clique that was, like, cheering for them. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. it'd be, like, five people, like, yeah, you won that award. And the rest of people were like, so? Like, what are you doing with that award? Because mm-hmm. it's more real. So what are you going to do with that award, you know? My, like, when my dad, uh, so I'm, like, excelling in martial arts, right? And then I told my dad, like, I was like, oh, man, today's class was so sick. I did this. And he's like, you're too old to be a, a fighter. And I was like, damn. <laughs> so it's like, I was, damn. So what am I doing with this? Right. You know what I mean? But it's like, all right, I just enjoy it. You know? Don't, he, basically what he's saying is don't get too caught up in the BS, in the, in the glitz and the glamour. Right. Look at the reality of the situation. Mm-hmm. It's like, what are you going to do with that? Yeah. yeah, it's like oh, okay, I can open up my own school, but then it's like then you're really more using your business savvy than your actual martial arts skill. Because I know there's so many um, martial arts school with terrible martial arts instructors, but they're very successful yeah. because they're using their business sense. So it's not really the martial arts that got you there; it's the business savviness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta look at the reality of the situation. It's like yeah, you won like 20 awards, but what are you doing in life? You're you're taking like a junk program, right? You know. Mm. And the crazy thing is, so I didn't realize this. I mean, yeah. I mean, Asians generally pick the practical ones. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, like, uh, I remember I was, I was talking about, like, oh, man, I got, like, really bad grades in, in high school. And then, like, oh, and then, like, you know, another person was like, oh, I was doing, like, so amazing. I got all these awards, right? And then I was like, well, what did you study? And, like, oh, I studied, like, photography, <laughs> like, art. And I'm like, wait, what? They gave you all those awards? And then like, what did you study? I studied, me personally, I studied physics, uh, discrete mathematics, calculus, uh, high university English. I studied the hard stuff. And I was like, damn, how are these? And then I would watch these people get awards and I'd be like, how the hell did you guys get the award? These were so difficult. Mm. And then you find out their their task load was like photography. And you're like, (laughs) what? I could have got that award too then, bro. Right, right, like if right, I just spent right. my time just taking photos instead of studying this goddamn chemistry mm. homework. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why, again, I said awards are not indicators of success. No, no, of course. No. Right? They're indicators of conformity. Because it's like, yeah, you did really well in a junk program. <laughs> but if you really come at me with some physics right now, mm-hmm. it's like I may have gotten like a B in physics, but you have zero in physics because you never took it. Right. So what are you going to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I feel like the the Asian mentality of like the Asian six pack of like just like being forced to take all the hard ones, it's it's a mindset training. Even though I don't use it now. Yeah, like yeah. I like I told you uh, I failed grade 11 calculus. Mhm. Oh, uh, was it calculus? I think it was calculus. No, no. no. No, no, calculus grade 12. I failed like uh, some like university level of math by 2%. I got a 48 instead of 50. If I got a 50, and then I went to my, my teacher and I was like, hey, I'm 2% off. Um, right. Can I, can I just get the 2%? This is my favorite story. I was like, can I just get the 2%? He's like, no. I'm like, well, why not? He's like, honestly, you're not very good. You're going to go nowhere with this. You should just do summer school because you're a terrible student. And I was like, wait, what? What do you mean I'm a terrible student? Like, I'm right. not going to go anywhere. Like, how's a teacher going to tell you that? Right. But again, we grew up in a different era. They give you tough love. So I was like, all right, true. And then I passed the summer school, and then I took the hardest math, discrete mathematics on purpose. And then I didn't only, like, pass it. I got, like, a six. Well, I'm, six is not good, but I, I passed it 
above yeah, 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 yeah. getting just a pass. And then that same teacher, he was teaching me data data management, mm-hmm. and he was like looking at my report card because he had to do something, and he's like, he's like, oh, you're you're taking uh, discrete mathematics, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> you know, it is it's it's that like that like. I guess it's during our time, but like you push me, I'm gonna push you back. Right. I was like, you said I couldn't do this, so I'm gonna yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're gonna go nowhere. All right, I'm take the hardest math just to prove to you that I could do it. Right. You know. I mean, yeah, in, in a way, it kind of worked, right? So but, for sure. But that's what I mean about like the toughness. You need a little bit of tough love. You know, you can't be all like. If he was like, you know what, I'm gonna give you this two percent. And I'm going to, because you are a beautiful human being that deserves to pass and not be in summer school, mm. I would have never taken discrete mathematics. Right. And, I, you know, that's the Tao. You, I, without the hardship, I would have yeah, never yeah, grown yeah. past my inadequacy mm. and then built that strength of character to be like, I'm going to do something that you told me I couldn't do. You know. We need to toughen up as a society. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You, like, not, not, don't be uninclusive. But just toughen up some other ways. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes when I give advice to people, like, ooh, that's a bit, like, it's, like, a little harsh. You got to, like, mellow it down. I'm like, well, if they can't swallow it, then they weren't meant to hear it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Right. But, I mean, like, in the grand scheme of things, we're both just humans. It's like, what what do I know? You know what I mean? Just like those presenters at that conference is like, we're all just BSing anyways. <laughs> you, you may have a perception that like, oh, he sounds very successful, but you right. don't know my life. So yeah. it's like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I find that that's the illusion. Nietzsche's beyond good and evil. Right. Yeah. Anyways, that's my rant. You got anything else, Fish? No, I mean, no. No, not really. <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully we get to see mid-90s and then talk about it. I've been super excited. Racism still exists. It does. It forever will. Right. Yeah. <laughs> will it? I was trying to think, like, will it actually forever will? If everyone's fully inclusive. I guess you'll be, like, speciesist. Depends Ew, it's a what? cockroach. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you could really, you can, like, you get attached to anything. People are like, oh, you're reaching. But it's like, no, it's still the same concept. You're just applying it to a different medium. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, we just got to stop this now. I'm just like getting too heated, too heated in my philosophical discussions. All right, till next week. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, Vish, leave him with some words of wisdom. Go. Uh, I don't know. That's a good answer right there. Nobody knows. All right, I got one. Conform to being an anti conformist. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that Banksy shirt where it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, they're yeah. all lighting up? To buy anti-capitalism shirts, but they're supporting capitalism. capitalism. Yeah, hilarious. This is the Dow. Peace out. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.